you can support me by following my channel. 2000 horsepower Draco Dragon makes case for being least hinged electric SUV ever. The Draco GT electric supercar first whizzed upon the car scene during the 2019 Monterey Car Week. It woo onlookers with its Fisker Karma platform, carbon fiber body designed by XP Infarina design director Loi Vermeersch, and exclusive Draco Motors Drive OS vehicle management system technology. The performance-oriented electric car was more about the love of driving and the passion for awesome sports cars than it was about economy, value, and saving the planet, the standard talking points of mass-produced EVs. It was a lovable car developed by Dean Draco and Shiv Sikond, successful Silicon Valley software entrepreneurs and avid car fans, who just wanted a better driving car than what they were finding. It's likely you won't find any of these $1.25 million Draco GTs on the road, if not for the astronomical price, but for the fact that Draco intends on building only 25 units. Some of our Motor Trend staffers were fortunate enough, though, to experience the GT's 4 motor drive system pushing 1,200 horsepower. It was described as the first electric car we've driven that really feels entirely like a new kind of vehicle. Its responsiveness, agility, and stability were remarkable. Basically, the thing was dialed. Draco hinted at another model, way back at the end of 2019, pending the success of the company's GTE. Our next car, which we can do in about a year, will be targeted at around £4,500, Sikon said. We'll build 99 of them, at half the price of the GTE. That puts me squarely in Lamborghini Aventador and Ferrari 812 Superfast territory. And I can eat those cars. Sikon smiled at the thought. That's what we're going to do, provide cars that are just amazing to drive, totally guilt-free, and fast as hell. Fast forward about two years, and it seems Draco Motors' aspiration for another model has come to fruition. It's called the Draco Dragon, and while we don't have all the specifics quite yet on this five-seater, one thing's for sure, it's the GTE on steroids. Everything Draco learned from the GTE, it applied to the Dragon. Draco, when speaking of, some iteration of, the Dragon openly on its website, considered the Dragon an upgrade of the GTE, significantly redesigned and upgraded with essentially no system untouched, the new pinnacle of electric vehicle performance. Like the GTE, the Draco Dragon was designed by Draco chief designer Loi Vermeersch and his Italian brand studio team. The Dragon's silhouette shows that it has generous ground clearance with broad, aerodynamic hips. It's a curvy gullwing SUV. Draco touts world-class passenger comfort within its five-seat cabin, abundant luggage capacity, and world-beating luxury and performance. Like the GTE, the Dragon will use Draco's Drive OS quad motor powertrain, allowing for individual control of each wheel's positive and negative torque, and Draco's in-house battery system. The the 2000 horsepower Dragon should reach a top speed of over 200 miles per hour, sprint to 60 miles per hour in 1.9 seconds, and achieve a 9.0 second quarter time. Those figures would be surprising, if there was no GT paving its way. A three-stage suspension system helps smooth roads and trails alike. Yes, Draco mentioned trails and off-road ability. As for the price of the Draco Dragon. We don't have a figure, but it's apparently competitive with the existing Super SUV segment, albeit with double the horsepower. Considering the GT is over a million buckaroos, the Dragon could still easily top the Aston Martin DBX, Bentley Bentayga, Lamborghini Urus, and Rolls-Royce Cullinan, for example. As for the guys behind the Draco GTE and now the Dragon, they'll never compete with Elon Musk's Tesla, and they're perfectly fine with that. During an interview with Motor Trend, Shiv Sikond commented, We're crazy. You know, I was down in Newport Beach. I met one of the main guys out there who've been around in the industry for a long time. He says, Why are you getting into the car business? Looking at me stupidly, like is there something wrong with you? 
I'm like, yeah, there's something wrong with us. You know, Dean, Draco, and I are kind of crazy.